Okay. Um, hello and welcome to my first Bleach Brave Souls tutorial ever. A uh, friend of mine needs to know how to do a few things, so here's a tutorial showing you how to do a few different things. Um, as you can see, I have three characters on the screen. This is the uh, uh, quote-unquote main team I have right now. But let's go into edit, because what he needs to know is... Well, partially. Okay. So, you get a character to level. Certain characters get to certain levels. Okay. If I show you my other teams, I have characters that are level 200, 150. You see characters level one. Now, to fuse. To increase a character's level, there are a couple ways to do that. Well, not their level, but the max level they can be, there's a couple ways to do that. Fusion is one, and by far, the most important way. So as you can see, I have a couple of Renjis. You see he is plus three. I have, um... I can never remember this dude's name. Whatever, we're gonna go with this dude, because I have him at plus three and I have two extra. So what you do is you activate them. This isn't my character list, like, by really any, any stretch of the imagination. And in the background, we are listening to Nefex, because Nefex is, like, the best. Don't argue with me, I'll punch you in the balls. If you don't have balls, I'll punch you in something. I will find your balls and punch them. Yumi Chika, that's his name. Okay. So you go to Augment. And of course it's running hard because I have both well, knocks up again. I'm about to but take whatever. down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now. Yeah, you gotta go. Man, I'm on the chase now. The pastries hate okay. me. And you better See, find now, some fucking safety. If I'm coming in. I select like that Renji. bitch and pasties. They can't save me. No, I ain't lazy. No, but society has me going so crazy. Yo, don't play me. Fine, let me pause no, here. Mine's hazy. I said pause. Yo, so if I select Renji, you see it'll give him 5,000 experience. Of course, with... Four and four, five, and six star characters that will be different. The amount of experience needed to get to the next level. But as you see over this other Yumi Chica, it says bonus and it also says special up. If it's the same character, you get more experience. If it says special up, that means it is the same character, the same star level. As far as I, I know, I haven't tried to do a six with a five star yet it will also increase the level of their special. And now you see, with only one character, I can level him up to the max thing. And then I hit, you hit Fuse. And... Boom. Yumi Chika can now reach level 60. And I can no longer select... A, I can no longer ascend him further. Now, if I go back to Edit... And I'll show you with a lower level character here. Like, who else do we have that I can easily do? You see, this tag means that I have leveled them up all the way. Okay, let's do this soy phone, because I can increase her level a couple times. See, because I've played the game a lot, so I can... I could go ahead and go into the soul tree and just kind of cheese my way through leveling her. Uh, normally, this is something you would do in missions, but I don't have to. You see, her the max level she can get to is 40. So without fusion, that's the max you can get to with a three-star character. Because they don't have a level up thing in their tree. Some, the higher level characters, level 5 and 6, do have a 
um, mark a a spirit shield. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> that allows them to increase their level without fusion. But generally, you have to have them at the max possible level with fusion to get that unlocked. And then you see, we just... See, you could pick any of these characters. See, like, I could use these other soy phones that I can't level up to max anymore to get things. But use those. And then one of those, why not? And just hit it. And... Boom, her max level is now 60. So now I can go and I can... This is another thing that's kind of important. But not as important as like leveling, getting stronger characters. Now, I can go in here and I can go back into her XP tree thing. Whatever those are called. I don't know what those are called. And 60. Done. Now Soy Phone is max level and I got 25 spirit orbs. What are these called? They're stat things. And you can... That is how you fuse characters together. And that is how you make your character stronger. For those of you that don't know, those of you that are new to the game. And you see, I have done it plenty of times. <laughs> A ridiculous amount, in fact. Um, some of these characters aren't fused because I wanted to work on getting their special up. Um, but some of them I didn't feel like waiting. And Kenpachi stars are different because he's resurrected. I can cover that later because I don't have anybody to resurrect at the moment. See, I did. I had two of her. I used. I have had uh, three of this character, Wonderwise. See, or no, I've had uh, two of him. I just used one to get to the other level. And you see, he can be a max level seventy-five at the moment. And if I go to his augment page or his soul tree page. You could see right there. See? It increases the level cap by 2 per level, but he has to be level 80 to get that, which is what I was talking about. So I have to fuse him to plus 4, and then I can and then get him to level 80, and then I can buy that, and that will allow me to get him to level 100. Because 2 times 10 is 20. And that is, how, that is how you fuse characters, and that is what happens. And, of course, I don't have anybody to evolve at the moment, so I can't show you how that works. But, basically, you take a max level, maxed out character. They have to have a max soul tree and everything. So, somebody like um, Nell, if she was still 5 star, you would take her and on this screen, it would have this... Oh, I do have the resurrection thing. So, see, I do have somebody to resurrect. Okay, so let's resurrect. Because even though she's one of my main characters, I want to see what her resurrection self looks like. Okay. Now, these are hard. The This quest is difficult. But this is the resurrection quest. This is how you get the six... I don't know, shiny star... Six pink star, I guess they'd be. Do, 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 do. This is how long it takes to load for me. Okay, so here we go. Battling myself, basically. Come on. 
Okay, see, I, I, I can't do it while I'm recording it because it's being, it wasn't allowing me to move quickly enough. But you can repeat that as many times as you need to until you beat it. And basically, the best way to do it is to run it on auto and just dodge as soon as they turn red. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really sure what this will do. But. Either way. I, I'm not, I don't fully understand the resurrection my, myself. And that is the friend messaging me. For whatever reason. And now, a very important part about characters, which... I could have showed you. I could show you really quick on this screen here. If I go to Jushiro, one of my level two hundred characters, and I go to augment. And we wait for it to stop being black screen. Okay, we go to accessories. As you see, I have abilities or accessories that give bonus stats special move effect plus 100 that is uh, the little soul spirit bomb thing that is what that is freeze duration negative 40 percent um and the all stats plus two and a half percent if it has the same attribute as jushiro which you see right here next to his picture and right there i don't know if you can actually see that but you see the little orange symbol. It gives it doubles the effectiveness of it. And five star things get a second effect. And you see some things won't affect him properly. Yada yada yada. Character link is also just as important as accessories. Which this is why you want to upgrade a character skill. And even if it's a four star character, they tend to have really good skills. For instance, um Let me get to one of my four star characters here so you can see their skill. Do, do, do. I'm still in my five star. Okay, see, Orihime gives you bonus dodge rate, or this particular Orihime gives you bonus dodge rate. This guy gives strong attack recharge time, uh, so basically cooldown reduction. Lilinette gives dodge rate. Ukiora gives strong attack recharge time. Chad gives attack damage. Daki is dodge rate. Kugo is normal attack damage. Orihime is uh, recovering stamina between quest areas. So see, your your four star characters can generally have really good abilities. Uh, my the cone cone you can get from a certain thing is negative is a damage taken reduction, which you can actually stack up to a total of thirty six percent. As far as I've seen, Elric stop messaging me right now. So I haven't seen a three star character with an amazing thing. So we'll check to see if I happen to have anybody with an amazing. Like each character, each card has their own special thing. And again, if um, they have the same attribute, you will. If they have the same attribute and they are a five star character that is level 150 with a full soul tree, you will get uh, some of their stats. But you have to have your link slots upgraded, which I can't show you because I don't have. Oh, see, Rangiku has damage taken. Ichigo has strong attack damage, but they're not as strong as the other ones. And they won't be. The higher the higher number of stars the character has, the better. Okay, now let's go to accessories so we can talk about that really quick before the video ends here. So, like characters, accessories have levels. And as you can see, four star accessories max level is 40, five star is 50, and... If you have a three-star character, I think the max level is, or three-star accessory, the max level is 30. So to evolve this, you either A, have to use other accessories, or B, have to use hearts, which if you have the accessories, I wouldn't mess with one or two-star for fusing together because accessories only keep their shape as far as I've discovered in the three star to f or the four star to five star 
thing, and you can see I am out of these, so I will go ahead and switch to using hearts. And now this is max level. And it also will increase the, the it increases the stat of the item. And then I switch to this, and I will just use pure hearts on this, because that's all I have. I had like a hundred to a thousand of all of these at one point. Okay, and now you evolve it, and you see, you know. I don't know what the immutable ball does, but I'll use it, whatever. Oh, the immutable ball guarantees what your item becomes. So if you want something, you select that item and then fuse it with an immutable ball. Bada bing, little animation. Look, I got a purple Teshintai. Special move effect plus 10%. I don't think I had a purple one before. I did have a purple one, so that was kind of useless to me. But I could put that on a different purple character than it's on. So that's how you do that. And you fuse them the same way. And when the, you have a max level 4 star accessory... You try to fuse it, and you need a Book of Secrets and 10 Evolution Powders of that attribute. And then you will get a 5-star accessory, and that 5-star accessory will get a second effect. And this one, I don't particularly like its second effect, so I will use a Effect Brush and re-roll it. I don't know what the Super Editing Brush does. Whatever, let's try this, the super one. I've, I've, I've never used it before. Maybe it's only like the best possible ones? I don't know. Stamina 40% max. That's good. I will keep... I will take that. Why is it... I guess the 40% is when it's doubled. I don't know. It, it's weird. It makes no sense because it is max level and everything and it can't go any higher. So I don't get it. And that is accessory fusion. Similar to character fusion, but you have to forcibly level up your, char your accessories to increase their level. And you get those hearts through the Cones Mega Bonanza quest, which I can't go to because if my character is full that's how you do that not super difficult but understandably confusing for a new character if you have any questions or want me to redo this I will try and write a script and actually do it you know good because I suck at non-scripted things which is like everything I do <laughs>